hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today we are going to understand about the simulation of pc817 in lt spice okay so i will show you the the signals for pc817 so the application of pc817 is uh, it is basically used to give the basic isolation between between one side to another side or between primary side to secondary side or you if wherever you want to give an isolation between primary or secondary or between one one, one signal to another signal or anywhere wherever you need and isolation you can use this opto isolator or pc817 so this is most commonly used isolator right so if you go and look the data sheet of pc817 it gives 5 kv isolation between this side and this side okay so let me explain the circuit first so you can see here you have one one photodiode here this is the photodiode and this is the phototransistor and when both combines together this forms a opto isolators which gives an isolation 5 kb or or whatever you want isolation between your primary side or and your secondary side okay 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 your high voltage area and your low voltage area or any other application right so this is most commonly used opto isolator okay so so you can see now your ground is common for both this side diode side and this phototransistor side in lt spice for simulation but in the actual application you have two separate ground okay one ground is for this side okay diode side and one ground is for for your transistor side so make sure sure while you are designing your your circuit by using pc87 you need to have you need to have two separate ground to give the basic isolation between this area to this area okay so this is this is done basically done by optocoupler or opto isolator okay so hope you understand the function and the application of optocoupler so let us discuss the biasing of optocoupler so here you can see here the supply voltage is 5 volt and this I, I have biased this diode to draw a 20 milliampere current okay so in the 20 milliampere current you have 100 percent ctr that means your current transfer ratio between this diode to this phototransistor is 100 percent and then then at this side the secondary side i have fixed 5 volt supply and I biased it for some current and let us say the, here is my output voltage so so you can design you can drive any circuitry at this transistor side okay so this is just a simple simple example to show you the simulations right now I will run the simulation and let us see what the what the exact behavior of this circuit right so you have to go here simulate then edit simulation command then you have to go transient then let us say stop time is 5 millisecond so just click it is so you are running your transient analysis for 5 millisecond let us click ok so it's already there this is the this is the pulsating source voltage okay the the frequency is one kilohertz and the low voltage is zero and the high voltage is five volt and here this is the fixed dc supply that is five volt okay 
now i will run the simulation here let us run the simulation so run it here and now you can see you have two window one window you can see the circuit and in another window you can see the waveform so just go at this window and tile window vertically now you can see two window here right so one for circuit and one for waveform so let me zoom this for proper visibility okay so let us say i will divide this into two part so let us say your input voltage is here is 0 to 5 volt right and your current flowing through this optocoupler is you can see 0 to around 20 milli ampere right so this is your primary side or your input side and at the secondary side the current flowing through this register is let us say 45 milli ampere and the output voltage is this so let us say one probe at here this is your input voltage and let us say what is your output voltage so we, whenever your input is high that means at 5 volt at the same time your output is low okay it's not exactly 0 volt but it's around 280 millivolt that means the saturated voltage saturation voltage of this transistor so for the second cycle whenever your input is low your output goes high and likewise it appears for multiple cycle so you can use you can modify this circuit you can use this circuit for your application based on your application you can drive by using this circuit basic circuit you can drive your relay you can drive your isolated relay you can drive your motor or you can drive any load right so at the end i will upload this file in the google drive and i will share you the link you can download this file and you can do your own practice you can play around this circuit okay so hope you understand the application of pc817 the function of pc817 the working of pc817 the biasing of pc817 okay and if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video